You can't give a little bitty piddling amount like three cents to a worthy cause like the underprivileged children's drive. I was reading here just the other day where there's somewhere like 400 needy boys in this county alone or, or, or one and a half boys per square mile. There is? There sure is. I never seen one, Paul. Never seen one what? A half a boy. <laughs> All right, little Opie. Let me show you what a half a boy looks like. <laughs> So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Kevin, didn't you already show us this video? Didn't you already rag on this kid enough? And one, you can't rag on this kid enough, okay? Secondly, I'm showing you this today because I found a video that really intrigued me. It was of kids from the British Isles back in the 1960s, and they were talking about their hopes and dreams for the future and what they thought the future would be like. And uh, it really should light a fire under everybody watching them, and then looking at the state of decay in the video I'm going to show you after that. Well, in the year 2000, um, I think I'll probably be the spaceship to the moon dictating robots to robots, or else I may be, I don't know, having a, in charge of a robot court, judging some robots, or I may be at a funeral of a computer, or if something's gone wrong with their nuclear bombs, I may be so coming back from hunting in a cave. Good. Do you have a good day today? Yeah. First question. What are your pronouns and how do you identify? My pronouns are he, him, and um, I identify as a boy. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. I am an LGBT activist slash advocate, a drag kid, um, um, a public figure, and I love your t-shirt. Some madman will get the atomic bomb and um, just blow the world into oblivion. Oh, how I wish it was just a madman with an atomic bomb. We should be so lucky that our only concern is atomic bomb wielding madmen. Instead, we have madmen, plural, and mad women, lots of mad women, wielding a weapon far more dangerous. They are wielding our major institutions, our public schools, our mainstream media, our social media platforms, and they are bringing us down that same road to oblivion, only killing us slowly with death by a thousand social justice warrior Marxist cuts. No, I do not support Trump. Why not? Because he is just a loser that is gay and has no life. Why do you think that? Because, do you see his haircut? Like, what kind of haircut is that? This is my brother, Christian Hoffman. So, do you really think Trump is gay? I really do. I really do. What, what proof do you have of that? I don't have no proof. Proof, but just look at his face. There's going to be all this automation. People are going to be out of work and a great population. I think something has to be done about it. I, that's, if I wasn't a biologist, I, that's what I'd like to do, um, to do something about the, the uh, population problem. Try and try and sort of um, temper it somehow. I don't know how. So sadly, this kid thought the best way to solve the population problem was for him to grow up and marry a feminist professor and not have any kids. Meanwhile, the stupid people kept breeding, and we ended up with this. King like so fast. I'm the new generation of Eminem, cause I could bling on my ring and bling and bling, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about my life, I'm not talking about Eminem's life. I think it'll be, uh, um, people will be regarded more as statistics and as actual people. I don't think it's going to be so nice. I think sort of all machines everywhere, everyone doing everything for you, you know, you'll get all bored and I don't think it'll be so nice. I think it's going to be very boring and everything will be the same. I mean, people will be the same and things will be the same. Well, that's good insight, but unfortunately, when people don't have any real problems, they make up problems like this kid. Hello. My name is Caleb and I am moan, queer and trans. And last week, I went to the gas station to buy a lighter. The cashier asked me what color I wanted and I told him it didn't matter. And he picks out a rainbow lighter as a police officer enters the gas station and gets in line behind me. And he sees the ca cashier handing me the rainbow lighter and says to him, are you serious? Get this guy a real color, he will get beat up if people catch him using that. 
And as the cashier swapped lighters, I stood there in silence. I didn't speak in fear that the police would hear my voice. I didn't look at him in fear that he would see my face. I stood there in silence and I did not make contact with him. I stood there in silence to hide everything about me that is gay, trans, and queer. So, kid, I think the cop already clocked you in on his gaydar. I think he was just trying to protect you. First of all, there's computers are taking over now. Computers and automation. And in the year 2000, there just won't, won't be enough jobs to go around. And the only jobs there will be will pe be for people with high HQ, you know, high IQ, who can work computers and such things. And other people are just not going to have jobs. There just aren't going to be jobs for them to have. Wow, this girl was so close, it was scary. I mean, half the high IQ population are working for the tech companies. And those people are trying to censor the other half of the high IQ population. The only thing she was wrong about is the low IQ population. There's lots of jobs out there for the low IQ population. I mean, they have Starbucks. They have all of these diversity and inclusion jobs. And of course, there's the jobs where you go out and dumb down the next generation like these people are doing. I actually do story time with drag queens in Chicago. Right? Yes, family programming. Love it, yes. If all of the children in the audience could plug their ears, um, cause I'm just kidding. Trump's our president, we can say whatever we want. Please welcome to the stage, Cunty Hornet! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cunty Hornet, one more time. I married a boy who'd rather be a girl. So all of this brings me back to Desmond is Amazing. You know, Desmond is Amazing might just be a drag kid to most of you, but to me, he's so much more than that. To me, he represents everything wrong with America and Western civilization today. I mean, he's a hypersexualized victim of postmodernism, a child who's being dragged around the country by his whorish single mother so he can be prostituted out to adult men so his mother can seek some sort of vicarious fame. He has not achieved anything through merit, but is still celebrated by the media. Meanwhile, he can't read or speak at the level of these children in the video, not even close. He sounds more like my three-year-old daughter, but he is the same age as those children. So yeah, there's that. Take it away, Desmond. Well, when my mom was watching the first episode of Falls Drag Race, I stopped playing with my Thomas toys, and I decided to um, join in, um, and that's when it started. Um, and this was when I was two. Two years old? Wow! And how old are you now? Eleven. 